The teams, what went so wrong on Tuesday night then? I think just the two minutes before half time and the two minutes after half time really killed us, conceding just before and straight after half time. But then after that, I think we just wasn't good enough. You know, we just looked like we were beat after that and the belief kind of got sucked out of us. But, you know, we need to learn from that and make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, that's really hard, isn't it? Because some fans, particularly the fans who travelled, were suggesting that, you know, the attitude was wrong. And that, what do you say to that? Yeah, I don't think the attitude is not wrong. We got a pitch to try and win and we are as frustrated as they are, you know, and when you're on the pitch. And I don't think it was a pen. And when things like that keep happening against you and, yeah, you know, he was bad. We shouldn't have conceded five. We should have just kept going. But, you know, we have to learn from it and we've got eight, nine games left now. We need to make sure we don't do that again and we really fight for every single point. I suppose your role as a senior professional is to sort of say, come on, lads, stop feeling sorry for yourselves. Yeah, well, the season's been going long enough now. We know we're not going to get anything. So it's just a case of whatever game remaining, we just need to fight. And if we're going to lose, at least give it a go. You know, we can't just feel sorry for ourselves and accept it. We have to give it everything and hopefully it'll be OK. It doesn't come much harder than Wigan away, does it? No, but then in this league, you know, we've lost both games against Cheltenham, but we drew both games against Ipswich and Bolton. So it doesn't say where you're going to pick up points and drop points. So we have to go then. We have to try and win. In a situation win, it's simple as that. We have to try and win either way we can. Do you think in a funny way that's the case for Morecambe, that you're actually more comfortable when you're up against it, against the better teams, because you're not so ambitious in those games, maybe? Uh, maybe. But then I think League One, you can beat anyone on your day and you can get beat against anyone on any given day. So... We have to prepare right and go there and hopefully get a result. The strange thing is, despite that defeat and a number of other defeats, it's still really close at the bottom, isn't it? You're not out of it. No, we're not out of it. There's about four or five teams fighting and we are one of them. And until the season's over, we'll keep fighting and hopefully it'll be OK come the end of the season. Has that really been the message since Tuesday night? Is that, you know... To an extent, learn the lessons, but f forget about the worst parts of it because it's virtually the same as it was before the game. Yeah, it is the same, but at the same time, you know, we knew it wasn't good enough, and that can't happen again. You know, we're gonna lose game, we're gonna win games, but whatever happens, we have to give it one hundred and ten percent. And as long as we do that, then the rest will take care of itself. With you being part of the brilliant promotion in May. Does that make it even more important for someone like you to keep hold of that League One status, to maybe fight that little bit more? Yeah, 100%. You know, we have to fight hard to bring the club to League One, so we don't want to get the club back down to League Two. So, yeah, we have to fight extremely hard to make sure that promotion last year was worth something. So what's your message to the supporters? There'll be a number travelling to Wigan and there's still you know, a fair few games left yet. What do you say to them? Just... Stick with us, you know, it's going to be a bumpy ride. We're going to win some, we're going to lose some, but the one thing we're going to do is give it 110% every single game. And it's likely, isn't it, that it's going to be really close right till the end of the season, the way things are going and the way all the teams are struggling near the bottom. Yeah, it looks that, it looks that way, but, you know, hopefully we can get ourselves out of trouble before then. But, like I said, all we have to do is just work hard and really dig in for every single point, every single game and you know we've got enough quality I think to get out of it but now it's, we can't talk about it, we have to show it.